Hey, what's going on YouTube? Talking Tanaka Giants here with a public pack break video for you guys. So, um, as you can see here, I have some Star Wars cards. Star Wars packs, rather. There's uh, one card per pack, and I've already opened up one of them. And I opened it up in a, in a restaurant, in a Japanese barbecue restaurant. So, I'm going to go ahead and show that to you guys in a second. Um, the video for that will immediately follow this one. So, I'm going to try to edit the two together. Um, and probably edit three videos together. This video introducing the product, the second video breaking the product in public, and then the third video actually showing you a close up of what I got. So this is the first video. Um, so here's the uh, just the Star Wars cards here, uh, 320 yen a pack, so it comes out to maybe four dollars fifty cents, five dollars a pop. Um, a little pricey, but um, they're pretty cool. Obviously, you know it's all in English, metal poster plate. Um, but actually, the product is Japanese. I don't, I have never seen these. Uh, listed on eBay or sold in the US so pretty cool maybe they are exclusive to Japan but uh, let me go ahead and just talk a little bit about what's inside so like I said here metal poster plate um, just as that just a metal card um, it comes with a stand down here on the bottom I know it's a little hard to see but um, you'll see the recap a little bit later but here's the here's the stand cardboard stand and you can pull one of these exciting looking cards so the card is actually a replica or a copy of the original movie posters that came out. Um, so you have, you know, Star Wars, the original series, and you have some of the newer ones up on top. Um, I hopefully you can see that. I know there's a bit of glare, sorry. But um, as you can see here, 12 variations and plus two secret, secret type of card. So um, we'll see what I get. Actually, I already know what I got because I opened the pack, but... I'll leave that. And then uh, one more thing really quick, uh, more baseball cards. Um, I think my TTMs asked me a question in one of my videos about Japanese memorabilia cards and, um, you know, what they look like. Um, I think I made a reference to this uh, Norichika Aoki card, let's see, that I, that I got in a trade with Walsinator17. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to get a little bit closer. Um, it's pretty neat. The, the jersey swatch, there's some lines in it. And for the longest time, I think my TTM actually has this card or a similar card. And he always thought it was actually a piece of a sock because that's kind of what it looks like. But um, here, let me go ahead and just show you. Um, this is a Mark Trumbo here out of Bowman Sterling. This is what the uh, Major League Baseball patches or not patches, sorry, swatches look like. Um, I have a uh, I have a Brandon Phillips that came in yesterday. That a Topps Marquee. This is also for, for trade or for sale if you're interested. But, you know, four pieces, one, two, three, four, just standard jersey swatches. Nothing really... I don't know, nothing really that stands out when looking at the card. But if you look at the Japanese cards, they have the stripe going through them. So I have some other cards here. Here's another one. This is a BBM product, stripes as well. So Japanese jerseys are pretty cool. And here is the, uh, the same set, but this is the uh, gold facsimile auto parallel to 100. And this one, as you can see here, is just, it's pretty crazy. Um, it's actually sticking out. This is just a standard jersey swatch, guys. This isn't a patch. This is just a jersey swatch. It comes off, I guess, off of this jersey here. So, pretty neat. Uh, visitor jersey. That's kind of cool how they distinguish it for you. Um, and there's the back of the card if you wanted to see, numbered to 100. But yeah, it kind of looks like a Ruffles potato chip. Pretty neat. So let me know what you guys think about Japanese memorabilia cards. Pretty cool. So that's for you, my TTMs. I know you asked, so I try to get back to everybody when they ask me questions. Um, but yeah, so sorry about the delay, guys. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut up now, watch the video, and uh, I'll come back with a recap. Peace. guys so here I am back again and this is the card that I pulled um let me know what you guys think about the barbecue I guess you can call this one hot pack 
hot pack. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, pretty cool. As you can see, here's the card. Um, very nice looking design. This is from the, I believe, yeah, it says it has information down here at the bottom, 1998. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, theatrical Advance One Sheet from The Phantom Menace, Episode 1. Pretty cool. This is a metal card. It's pretty thick. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I know it's kind of hard, you can't really, or you can't see it at all, but there's a hole up here, and if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, put this through there, maybe put on a keychain, I don't, I don't know what you would do with it, it's pretty heavy, but, um, yeah, that's that, so, uh, let me know what you guys think about the barbecue, um, and, uh, yeah, so 37 Nationals Yankees, this is a bit of a, uh, a counter to your, your latest video, so, peace guys, bye-bye.